Hi and welcome back to HowToAV.tv over at ISE 2018. We're joined today by John Caton of Cambridge Sound Management. John, welcome. Thank you very much. And you've come to join us to explain to us all about sound masking, what it is, what it does and the right technologies to have an effective sound masking system. Yeah. So let's start with the absolute basics. Sound masking, exactly what is it and what does it do? Sound masking is a very low level of sound that's introduced into the room that's tuned to the human speech band uh, and we use it to uh, for privacy in certain environments or to avoid distraction, large office environments and also we can use it to improve room acoustics. Okay, so, so, so an application for instance we've got a lot of open plan architecture these days, huge kind of um, open plan offices with hundreds of uh, desks and it can become incredibly noisy and therefore difficult to focus and concentrate maybe? Yes, it well it, the, the main reason is that uh, the, the room acoustics have dropped drastically, chill beam has come in, more people in an office, open office environments, um, no fans on computers, not, not as much paper, so the consequence is that the offices are, are generally a louder place, there's more signal to noise, so if we increase the noise floor back to where it was, um, then the sound masking has the, the desired effect. So the concentration but also privacy it's used for as well, so for instance open plan um, high street banking maybe? Yeah, high street banking, pharmacies, um, lawyers meeting rooms, um, anywhere there's an adjoining meeting room. Okay, so I'm not going to ask you to do any impressions right now John, but, but what does sound masking sound like? It sounds very much like, a, like the, you've got a, um, your air conditioning is on. Um, and it's, it's, it's barely noticeable, um, the levels that you would set it at, and the, the, it becomes a source of the room. Hugely important that the source is uniform. If it's not uniform, it's noticeable. The last thing you want it to be is noticeable. And it's hugely, hugely important that it's tuned correctly, because if it's the wrong type of noise, then it, it will sound, uh, well, A, it will sound horrible, B, it won't work. Um, some people call it white noise, it's not white noise, it's not pink noise, it's a tuned spectrum of sound. Just explain to us the difference between white and pink noise. And... Well, white, white noise basically is <clears throat> the same amount of energy where, so if you have white noise it sounds like it's getting louder at the high frequencies. Pink noise is dead flat, so that would then sound a bit, sound a bit odd, so we have a, a spectrum where we, we get closer to the human ear. So, so sound masking is, is an audio system. If we've already got a PA system installed uh, in the building or, or a background music system, can we use that for sound masking as well? Not really because going back to where I said before about the uniformity, uh, generally you would install a normal PA system or a background music system, you wouldn't have as much uniformity as we need for a sound masking system. The speakers generally don't have this, the, the right coverage. So it's uh, a lot about dispersion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you want it dead flat. Uh, conventional uh, loudspeaker systems will have comb filtering, um, whereby you'll notice a gap as you walk through. With a sound masking system, you, you don't have comb filtering. Um, if it's a direct field, you tend to use more than one channel, uh, or if it's in the plenum, then that's dealt with. So you don't want to have anything that that, that can make it obvious that sound masking is there. It just wants to be a form of the building noise. So with regards to, uh, and I'll use the phrase sound masking generator, I can't simply buy a sound masking CD, for instance. No, no, it needs to be a randomly generated, generated noise. Uh, so. And you talk about making sure that it's tuned correctly. Is that part of the technology of a, of a masking generator or is it done within the amplification? No, you, you, would, you would normally expect to find a, some form of graphic equalisation in between the, the, the generator or within the controller or however the system is, is done and you then need to match the room acoustics to the set curve which either you, the manufacturers will prescribe or the uh, acoustic consultant will dictate. So it's very important that, you, for example, you, if you have 2.5 kilohertz at the wrong level, then that's going to be quite annoying. Uh, if equally, if you have it at too low a level, then you're going to not mask anything at that frequency. You mentioned that dispersion is really, really key. So directional speakers aren't going to work. Without wanting to be facetious, the horn speaker's not going to do the right job. What type of loudspeakers and how do we need to place them within the room? Well, ultimately it depends. If you're on a, a direct field system whereby the, you're using 
a, a, a type of speaker that goes into the ceiling, then they need to be on the correct centres uh, according to the dispersion and the room height. Uh, if you're on a plenum system where the speakers are above the ceiling, the ceiling with perforated metal tiles for example, you need to bring it in closer. If it's mineral, you need to take it out. If it's an open ceiling, then you need to consider where the speakers go for that. And is, is another consideration programming of timing, for instance, because of course um, the number of people in a room and the noise level is going to change throughout the day as well? Most sound masking systems you can schedule when they come on and go off. Um, there are some sound masking systems that uh, go up and down adaptively. That's very, very difficult to manage. It's adaptive um, because you might bring it up for one area and then it's quieter in another. Uh, and you really want the sound masking to be non-noticed. Uh, whereas if it's raising it, it becomes a noticed. So John, putting you on the spot very, very quickly then, if, if sound masking systems is new to uh, our integrators, what are the key considerations that, that we need to look at with regards to the environment, um, the performance of a system and the, and the technology that we want to specify? Okay, so we, we need to look at the, uh, the type of ceiling, uh, whether it's a closed ceiling or an open ceiling that would dictate whether it's a direct field or indirect field. We need to look at the ceiling height. Uh, if it's a very low ceiling, that has its own problems. Very high ceiling, again, can have the same problem. Um, we need to look at the, the materials in the ceiling. If it's uh, open, perforated metal, that can perform like an open ceiling. Uh, or if it's normal mineral tile or uh, plasterboard, gypsum, again, has its own problems because it's very difficult to pen penetrate. So there are all sorts of factors, but generally it's the ceiling height, type, um, and the areas where people want the system. And it's very important that it's tuned. Uh, and, and just finally, John, there is also the, and I'm not sure what your opinion is going to be on this, there's also the concept of music masking. Is it the same thing? Does it work? Yeah, um, soundscaping uh, or music masking, uh, yes and no, uh, music will take it away from people but it won't mask the speech so it will just it will take it will, just, it will avoid people listening but you will still be able to hear because the frequencies are, are different there'll be gaps in music the frequencies will change so what we would ra re recommend rather is that you have the combination of the two so you still have the masking but you can put the mood music on top we're definitely seeing growth uh, in the UK we're seeing growth in parts of Europe and we're seeing growth around the world. Uh, definitely, it is more known in the States, it's the States technology, but it is becoming more known. John, thank you ever so much. Thanks for joining us on howtoav.tv. Much more information on audio visual and audio technology coming your way very soon. Thanks very much. Thank you.